Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. Today I'm going to show you how you can grow your very own copper crystals at home. This is a very easy way to grow a pure copper crystal, and it's a process known as electrowinning, where impure metal is deposited onto a pure metal surface. Now, it's very simple to do. All we need is a suitable glass container. I found this fishbowl at Goodwill. It's the perfect size. And now for the positive side, I'm placing in a copper wire insulated in the middle with some electrical tape. For the negative side, which will be the one receiving the copper, I just uh, hung a little wire over the center of it. Now I'm pouring in my copper sulfate solution. I use a strong solution to better conduct electricity. And I wire this up as follows. The positive side is known as the anode. This is depositing the copper. The negative side is known as the cathode. This receives the copper. My power supply is capable of supplying 16 amps at 3 volts. However, actual consumption is much less. The concentration of copper sulfate solution dictates the amount of current running through the cell. The more current running through the cell, the faster the crystal will grow, but the more irregular it will be. Now I'll admit, this is more of a black art than actual science and theory, but it may take a little bit of experimenting to find your perfect crystal parameters. I had to cut this one short because my anode was about to break, so I decided to take the crystal out of solution. When you take it out, you must immediately put it in water to get rid of the extra copper sulfate solution and then place it on a paper towel to dry. This is a beautiful crystal, but I wanted to try something else. I reversed the cell so the crystal was on bottom and the coil was on top. This was giving nice results, but it was interesting to see that the copper dendrites were growing up the side of the container. So I cleaned out the container and I started again. Now much more current was flowing through the cell and I was getting larger dendrites growing off until my cell snapped and shorted itself out. Oh well, I was pretty happy with the crystal, so let's take it out and see what it looks like. This is the final product. It's a large, pure copper crystal that any element collector would be happy to have in their collection. I'm very proud of it. My cat seems to like it too. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please subscribe and check back for more videos later. See you guys.